His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the new Hijri year 1446. His Royal Highness extended the deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King, wishing him good health and happiness and further growth and prosperity and many happy returns to Bahrain and his people as well as to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness, wishing him good health and happiness and further progress and prosperity and many happy returns to Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with their Majesties, their Highnesses and leaders of the GCC Arab and Islamic Nations on the 1446 Hijri New Year. His Majesty wished them good health and happiness and wished their countries and their people many happy returns. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of good wishes with their Majesties, the Highnesses, leaders, Crown Princes and Prime Ministers of the GCC Arab and Islamic Nations on the 1446 Hijri New Year. The Bahrain Olympic Committee, BOC, held a press conference in the presence of the Vice President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of France to Bahrain, Eric Gerard, the Secretary General of BOC, Faris Al Kuhiji, the Executive Director of the Olympic Committee and Director of the Mission, Ahmed Abdel Ghaffar, a number of heads and members of participating sports federations and members of local and foreign media during the press conference. The BOC revealed the list of athletes participating in the Olympic Games Paris 2020 to be held from uh, July 26 until August 11th, where the kingdom will participate with 14 players representing five sports, athletics, swimming, wrestling, judo, and weightlifting. The conference began with a speech delivered by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali, in which he conveyed to the attendees the greetings of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised His Highness's support for the Bahraini delegation, stressing the keenness of BOC and the Sports Federation on the honorable representation with the participation of a number of its athletes. The French ambassador also delivered a speech on the occasion. The Anti-Narcotics Directorate of the General Directorate of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science has seized around half a million Bahraini dinars worth of narcotics and arrested individuals involved in a drug dealing and trafficking of a shipment weighing around 84 kilograms in addition to around 18,500 of narcotic pills. A security team was formed after information was received about the suspects in which they were identified and arrested red-handed while drug dealing. The hiding places of the illicit drugs that were found and drug money of different currencies was confiscated. Legal proceedings were taken to refer the case to the public prosecution. The Ministry of Labor announced that a hotline has been dedicated for citizens and residents to report any violations of the midday work ban. The Ministry emphasized that this step comes in light of community partnership in order to optimize the implementation of Ministerial Decision No. 3 of the year 2013, which prohibits working under direct sunlight and in open areas during noon from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. in July and August. The Ministry noted that the commitment of establishments to the decision reflects the humanitarian responsibility of employers and their awareness of the importance of worker safety and health. It also noted the importance of employers taking all preventative measures during this time of the year when Bahrain witnesses a significant increase in temperatures and humidity levels in order to protect workers from exposure to the risks of heat, stress, sunstroke and various summer diseases and to minimize occupational accidents and injuries resulting from them. The Kingdom of Bahrain is celebrating the anniversary of the Prophet's migration and the beginning of the new Hijri year. More in this report. اللهم ارزقنا شفاعة نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم يوم الدين 
The anniversary of the Prophet's migration from Mecca to Medina established important Islamic values and principles through many stages to convey the message of Islam to the entire world, which is celebrated by all Muslims in various countries of the world, marking the beginning of a new Hijri year. The Kingdom of Bahrain is key to celebrate this occasion, and over the decades there have been many forms of celebration, as it is an official holiday for workers in the public and private sectors, and the numerous activities, including religious lectures and lessons, emphasize the importance of the migration and the most important lessons and values learned from it, as well as the importance of the teachings brought by the Message of Islam. Muslims remember the Prophet's migration as a defining moment and one of the most important Islamic stations. Celebrating the anniversary of the Prophet's migration is an opportunity to renew feelings of faith and emphasize the importance of adhering to Islamic principles. The Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to embody its noble meanings and values through its adoption of policies that call for brotherhood, equality and cooperation among all, as indispensable foundations for achieving development of humanity.